Okay, Facebook and YouTube, I'm doing a um, quick plant update. And the update is a little bit different than the tour because the tour is basically when you, um, you know, you kind of go through your whole entire plant collection and you name them, you tell stories behind them. With the update, you're basically just kind of Focus on focusing on specific um, plants that you have. So the first one that I'm doing is my mixed planter. I did it maybe about a month and a half ago. Could be two. There's a lot going on in the world, so my timing may be off, but um, no more than two months. And in it is two forms of aglaonemias, which I don't really know the correct. Um, variety of it. You see a Diefenbacher in here or um, a dumb cane. And then, of course, a whole entire cluster of Cebu blue po popos or popos. Now, as far as the Diefenbacher goes, or Diefenbacher, it's not doing all that well. It's not dying, but it's not really. Um, Thriving. I've had to cut this stem off here. Then I believe there was one here, but as you see, I cut it, but it is trying to um, rebound or whatever. So we will see how that turns out. A lot of times with the deeper bakia, they, they like um, kind of dry soil. A lot of people say they keep them wet, but I actually do the opposite because they're very... Um, Success, susceptible to root rot. Now, as far as I feel like I'm so loud because I don't have furniture here. I kind of just moved or whatever. But anyhow, as far as the aglaonemia goes, <clears throat> it had also it started to get um, root root rot as well. So I had to cut off the whole entire stalk down here. But as you see, it is making. It's producing a new shoot out of here. So that is a sign that it's rebounding. And it'll probably bounce back 100%. I'm focusing on this under layer because that's where a lot of the, um, this one here is totally new. Just one leaf, but it, that's still a sign that it is making proper adjustments. You see a new shoot, so anytime you see new shoots coming out, that means your plant, if nothing else, even if it's struggling, it, that does mean it made some kind of adjustment because the lighting situation here is a lot different. Um, my African mask or alocasia poly, I did have to cut two stalks off of it. It was yellowing. This is a, a marble queen. It actually came from the original one. You guys know um, I just split it. I didn't even water root it. I just literally cut it, threw it in here. It's doing excellent. And it's growing from two ends. New, all this is new. And then here as well, new shoot. So that means it has made the proper adjustment. My Marvel Queen Pogos, I'm seeing, like I say, anytime you see new leaves, that's a good sign. Let's see what else. New. It's Golden Pogos, that's self explanatory. Um, Now, okay, as far as my, my original Diefenbachia, it was struggling, struggling even at my old house. So I did a massive reset where I had cut a lot of the stalks off. But it's still, it's very strong growing. All of this, everywhere you look, there's new leaves coming. New. I didn't even try to count them, but um, it's a significant. I actually cut some the other day, so 
But if I were to count it, one, two, three, four, five. That one just came open. Six, seven, eight. And actually, nine. So it's just adjusting to the new, my new apartment or whatever because the lighting situation is not the same. I did put a little spotlight to kind of help. And this is my original Golden Pothos. I had it for about four, no, about four years. I would say three and a half, four years. Pretty much any Golden Pothos you see in my house started from this one. I just cut it and then split it, so. Let's see here. Original enjoy. It's a form of um, Racina. It's, it's not the corn plant variety, it's a different kind. And this is my little miniature velvet leaf mikein. The Dungeon Project. Um, it basically grows off this little mossy thing. I don't know. This is 50 50, um, but it, it does have new leaves coming out, so. Um, see here? So it is definitely alive and well. It just, you know, it's adjusting to my new lighting setup. Even my snake plant, I've noticed um, it does have new shoots coming out. You can't really see it, but they're on the inside of it. I've had this one, one of my longest standing plants. I've had it for a very, about four, closer to four. The other ones are like three and a half. That one's almost four. And I split it many times. This is the only survivor out of that particular bunch, so hopefully he does well. Manjula pop those or pop those I got a cutting from a friend. As you see, look at this.